by the devil. Brethren, the devil is trying to use our mind to deceive and to destroy us. Then we have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And brethren, the word of God is necessary, as I said. You cannot live without the word. You cannot serve the Lord without the word. You cannot be effective without the word. You cannot be victorious without the word. How am I going to be strong when I don't use the, the word, word of God? Mm -hmm. Yes, the word of God is like medicine. Mm -hmm. It's milk. It's stronger than any, as I said, two-edged sword. Yes, the sword of the spirit, which is the, the word of God. And I said that the word is necessary in order to be successful. The word of God is efficacious and powerful and sharper than any to any sword. In Ephesians, no, in Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter, sorry, Hebrews 4 and verse 12. I'm going to read that verse for us so that we can understand what the Apostle Paul is, is trying to say. Hebrews 4 and uh, uh, verse 12. This is what he said. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is, and is a discerner of the thought and intent of the heart. Brethren, you cannot live without the word of God. And in verse 7 of Ephesians, uh, uh, verse 17 of, of Ephesians chapter 6, and take the element of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and verse 18, praying always with all prayers and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance, and supplication for the saints. Prayer must bottle on all the other part of our Christian armor. And next week, God willing, we are going to look what prayer can do. But we must watch, therefore, we must continue the fight. We must persevere in the fight. Brothers and sisters, don't give up. We are too near to our heaven home to give up and give in. And my encouragement to you all, be strong in the Lord. Because he's busy, he's up, he's around, and he knows that it's time. Yes, it's time short when he will be put into the abyss and he will be there forever and forever but for the time being he wants a lot of people to go alongside with him but for you and i who are saved by the grace of god let us stand and he he can't have us and he will not have us because jesus said i give unto them he was eternal life and they shall Never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And brothers and sisters, we are fighting in victory. We are not fighting a losing battle. We have gotten the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. And because the devil knows that he wants to deceive, to defeat, and to destroy our testimony. But may God help us. To be strong in him. Bless your words to our heart. Glorify yourself with us. Help us, O oh God, to be strong in the Lord. And to put on. So we can face the enemy. Not turn our back. Because there is no armor made for the back. We must go in front and attack him. And resist him. And he will flee from us. 
We give you all the praise for the preparation and for the provision that you have given to us. Help us to use it and to continue to be victorious. We give you all the blessing, all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen.